Because <laughs> I'm not trying. <laughs> Good morning. We are out on a walk, obviously. Harley is enjoying the sunshine. I apologize for the audio, um, but we are just out here trying to get some fresh air in the midst of quarantine. But yeah, thank you for tuning in. Let's keep going.
Hello, <laughs> welcome to the bedroom. It is the afternoon. I am laying in the afternoon sun and yeah, some time has passed. Things did not go according to plan. Um, today ended up being the first day of my new cycle. <laughs> so after my walk, I was not feeling up to doing tutorials. I was not feeling up for anything other than drinking coffee and being around my husband. So even though it wasn't the plan for the vlog, I did take most of the day off. <laughs> So I might be pulling this vlog into tomorrow morning. I do think there are some things, you know, where we need to push through and we need to be disciplined um, <laughs> even when we don't feel like doing something. But then there's other times when it's positive to listen to your body and to let yourself have rest. I know in a lot of my vlogs I'm super productive. I do a lot of stuff. Um, but that's not what every single day of my life looks like. You know, I spend a lot of time editing videos. I spend a lot of time writing. I spend a lot of time just relaxing with my husband. Just don't be hard on yourself, especially in quarantine, if you need to just rest for your mental health. So yeah, I don't know what we're gonna get up to next, but that's okay. <laughs> The sunshine is just not letting go and it's amazing. <laughs> I know it probably looked kind of silly just hip thrusting on a yoga mat, but it really makes a huge difference. As I'm sure you can tell, I carry excess weight in my hips, my thighs, my legs. That's kind of the area that needs the most toning work when I am working out. So I like to do Pilates um, because it really focuses on lengthening those muscles instead of just bulking them out. I found a couple great workouts for that on YouTube actually. They're older and I will be linking those below. So yeah, even though I don't always love my body shape I feel like when I take care of myself when I do Pilates when I do my walks I feel a lot more confident so yeah look for those links below
All right, hello, good morning, day two of the vlog. I am feeling like a brand new person. I am feeling fresh, alive, healthy. I am so glad I rested yesterday because I feel like I was able to recuperate so much quicker than if I would have really just pushed myself. You guys know I love glam in general, but I think it is especially important to celebrate feeling healthy. And I love doing that by curling my hair, putting on a little extra makeup. So today I wanted to share with you guys Guys, um, the mascara I've been using recently. So I've been cycling through the same three mascara brands since I started wearing mascara. I don't tend to waver on that, but I recently saw this drugstore brand recommended by one of my favorite Instagram accounts. So I gave it a try and it's amazing. Voluminous, waterproof, the whole nine yards. So I thought I would put it on for you guys in the tutorial area of the house. already kicking off day two pretty well. We got one tutorial down, but I'm going to finish getting dressed, head into the kitchen, and we are going to make biscotti. I'm so excited. It is a great recipe. Stay tuned. All right, hello, welcome to the kitchen and to today's baking portion of the vlog. We will be embarking on the traditional Italian cookie recipe of biscotti. So the reason I got into baking biscotti is actually because of quarantine. Now in the past, I've only enjoyed biscotti from coffee shops, bakeries, and the like. But of course, since quarantine began, I haven't been able to make my little coffee shop trips and I was feeling pretty low. So I decided to learn how to make biscotti from home. It is such a simple recipe and I think I'm gonna be able to get it done before my husband wakes up later this afternoon.
on its way. I think my husband just woke up. We're gonna enjoy that together and then finish off the biscotti. I keep forgetting to show you guys this in all of my other vlogs, but about a month ago, I actually received my 100K, what is it called? YouTube plaque, YouTube award, I don't even know. But I haven't displayed it, I've just been keeping it in the plastic it came in because I don't want it to get damaged. But I, you know, I wouldn't have this if it weren't for all of you, so I wanted to quickly show you. There you guys are, <laughs> on my phone. Presented to Mrs. Midwest for passing 100,000 subscribers. And I know we just passed 150,000 subscribers, so I just wanted to say thank you to all of you, the members of the Feminine Family for making this happen, but more than that, I just wanna say how grateful I am to you guys <laughs> for keeping this momentum going, this momentum, um, this movement for feminine women, traditional women, homemakers. It just gets me really excited that you guys are taking this on um, as your own thing and that we're building this movement online. And so yes, thank you to all of you. Oh, oh, okay. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> good. You did good. So I thought that YouTube just sent them out automatically when you pass 100,000, but apparently not. You have to go into your creator studio and like request it. And my husband did that um, for me. So <laughs> he went in and he did that. And so when it came in the mail, I was totally surprised and it was just really exciting. So I am going to be finishing out this vlog pretty soon, just giving you guys some cleaning inspo. We're gonna be stripping the bed, doing some cleaning. I have found a horrendous tumbleweed pile of dog hair at the bottom of the stairs to my basement. And I noticed it a few days ago and I decided to leave it there so I could film vacuuming it up in this vlog because I know how satisfying it is to see videos on the internet of something getting cleaned or something like power washing. And so <laughs> we're gonna film that. And I hope you guys feel extra inspired for your quarantine spring cleaning.
so I know that was probably so disgusting, but for some reason this part of the house, I vacuum it up once a week, but this is just where all the fur and hair gathers. I think it might be because she charges down the stairs and dislodges all this extra fur and it just like blows around, gets into the corners. So I have to vacuum it quite frequently, um, but it still comes back every single week. <laughs> You guys wanted to see more of him? Here he is. We're gonna try biscotti together. Mmm. That's good. This is a good batch. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. It's really good. <laughs> You're just telling me. <laughs> well done. Thank you. In my best British accent. Well done. It sounds the same. Because <laughs> I'm not trying. <laughs> Welcome to the freshly cleaned craft room. I am going to finish out this vlog doing some simple mending. I think it's such an important skill to know how to mend and care for and repair the things we own. So the first thing we are going to be mending is this little black thin lacy bra. As you can see, a very typical um, bra problem has happened where the underwire has poked through the fabric and then secondly we have this reusable bag that I sewed and it held up pretty well but you can see right here it has opened up and I think that's because I sewed this back more when I was more of a beginner and I only sewed one seam and that's not really strong enough when you're carrying around heavy groceries so we're gonna be mending both of these things and then ending out the vlog succeeded my reusable bag is now usable again and this bra is back on the market but it does feel really good to get a lot of stuff done today to feel like myself again I'm so happy I did take yesterday a lot slower so thank you for tuning in to this vlog I know it was a little different than our other ones but I will be closing this out so again thank you for tuning in but if you're interested in more of this kind of content I have a vlog playlist on YouTube I intend on making more and more vlogs in the future opening up my life just a little bit more for all of you if you haven't yet consider liking the video it does help other people find our community feel free to follow me on Instagram but in total I hope you guys have a wonderfully blessed and peaceful week my beautiful sisters <music>